Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so I just want to show you a strategy for setting yourself up to um, do this color theory assignment. Okay, so what I did was I took a sheet of paper out of my sketchbook and I'm just folding it into quarters. And what I can do is um, I'll just draw something very, very simple on here. Um, I think I'll just put I'm just feeling like in a heart mood today. So I'll just draw some hearts. Also, I just wanted to say, um, I'm doing this with mm, Sharpie just so that you can see what's going on. But if I were doing this at home, I would use a pencil. So um, just be aware of that. Okay, so when I have this, um, what I wanna do is have the same image on all four sides. So I can trace that. Um, what I will do is flip the paper over. If you find that it's hard to see, um, one strategy might be to uh, put your paper up to a window and windows will help you, um, yeah, just be able to transfer the design. If you are a person who is doing this digitally, then you would have a different approach. All right, so I've got this here. Now what I want is to do the same thing on this side. Um, so again, if you are doing this old school with paper, this is how I would um, suggest doing this. I'm just gonna do this real quick. And I'm gonna do the other side, so we have that. Um, ready? Got this, okay. So here I have um, a design that I can use. What I would want to see is a different color scheme in each one of these spaces. Um, I personally am interested in doing something um, like a bit more complex. I just wanted to say, you know, if you want to make a drawing, a design that is simple, you can. If you want to make something that's more complex, that's also okay. Um, if you are doing something like this, I, I also wanted to mention that it's okay if you want to have like separate pictures, separate images. Um, same thing though, you can just have your separate papers and trace what you need on your second paper. Alrighty.